Happy February 12th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is special. Let me pull up the calendar page, and we'll see what's going on here. Reinforcements arrive with Captain Clawthorn. We have a security breach in Crown Spire Castle, she says. I need you to get down this hole quickly to assess where they are coming from and if there are more insects. And it says, one, select a hero that you will play for the remainder of the year. And then two, <laughs> take a rest. Which means, well, it, it, uh, let's see, it tells us what that is on this second page. You restore your health and other things. But here at the top, it says, select a hero you'll play for the remainder of the year. Pick one of the six you have played thus far, or you may want to visit www.sundialgames.com to create a custom hero. You can also view each hero's higher level stats and abilities to help you decide. <clears throat> and then it gives you some dialogue if you've chosen one of the heroes. And originally I was going to go with one of the six, and honestly, probably... Probably Sill. I really like her abilities. Um, she played really well. I was leaning towards also um, Merrick or Talk, even though Mer <laughs> Merrick was quite a challenge and he, uh, he died on us, but um, that makes for a good show too. So I had a rough time with Thatch and Quill, and I like Korra, um, uh, but just not my style, I don't think. M maybe. But um, these four were the top four for sure. But then I took a look at the custom rules, and uh, I'll pull those up here. Is that this one? Yeah. Uh, custom heroes for the 2024 quest calendar. Um, and it, they look pretty cool here. There's a rabbit, there's an elk or a deer or something, birds. Like, you can be any one of these things. And... Uh, um, so I, I, but this document, you can't see the page count, I don't think, but it's 31 pages, so it's not, uh, so it's pretty stout for a, for a, for a little game like this calendar is, uh, there's quite a bit of thought and effort that, um, got put into this character creation and, and the whole process here. Um, and so, uh, let me, let me show you, here's a character sheet, so I printed out the character sheet got that here and what I have in mind isn't a full character creation but it still might take a little while so um, longer than uh, any of us are used to for my <laughs> quest calendar videos so I've got some I've got my calendar lit or uh, candle lit I've got some red tea here to help my voice a little bit we've got our characters here and uh, let's just see if we can have some fun with this. Um, so it describes the character sheet. One of the first things it does is give you a table for names. So I thought this would be fun. Let's roll a name. <clears throat> because I don't have room on the desk for all this. Plus dice. I have this super cool gemstone spinner from the dice shop. This was a Kickstarter last year. You got to pick... What kind of gem? This is actual gem cut and polished gemstone in here. Uh, mine is a green aventurine. I think I'm saying that right. And then it's got, I don't know if you can see here, four-sided, six, uh, 12. And then on the reverse, we've got 20 <clears throat> D10 or percentile and a D8. So I'm going to use this to do my rolls today. And let's see, there are a little bit more than 20 options in each of these columns. But let's just spin this and see what we get. D20, 15. Let's see, 3, uh, 6, 9, 12, 15. Ivy. Ivy. Uh, does it say tail? <laughs> I think it says tail. Ivy. Tail claw. <laughs> Maybe it's tall. Tall claw? Tail claw. Let's try again. Ivy um, 17. 
let's just go back three one two three bright um and six one two three four five six bright feather ivy bright feather and then it's got a list of um critters you can be uh we might come back to this name in a minute let's do let's do something else here my plan instead of you can see all the rules here for traits and stats and abilities um uh leveling up etc etc way up here at the beginning it says um creating your own hero will increase the complexity of the game while death can be common with the base heroes provided you may build your custom hero in a way that becomes extremely extremely difficult to survive as you continue to progress throughout the year Discovering a set of abilities that make the game too easy and do not offer a significant challenge is also possible. So, I think my plan is, instead of doing it all uh, custom, we will choose a name, um, we'll choose what kind of critter we are, and then I think I'll use, I'll just model them off of one of our introductory six, and in particular, well, yeah, I think we'll, um, let's just try this. If we do a, we do a six-sided roll. So you see that the class names are uh, Wind Chaser, Thorn Weaver, Spell Keeper, Blade Dancer, Shadow Weaver, Light Seeker. I'm going to take the four that I really like, and we'll do a four-sided die for the first title, and we get two. So one, two, Blade and four blade seeker so so far we've got ivy bright feather who is a blade seeker um blade seeker which means maybe i take the abilities maybe i combine cora and sill or maybe i just pick one of these two i'll have to do some more thinking about how how that combines but i might just take their stats i might just pick one of these whole cloth and uh and move them over but what the other thing i was thinking might be fun to do I'll hide this and this is heroforge.com uh you can build um miniatures basically and then you can buy the stl files and print them out yourself if you have a 3d printer or uh, you can order the miniatures. They'll print them. They'll even paint. Uh, well, it's, um, I think it's colored resin that they use. They don't paint them, but they come. You can get them uh, in color. Um, so let's see. And they have some. You know, they have the standard fantasy stuff. They have humans. They have uh, dwarves and gnomes and elves and all that sort of thing. But they also have. This is cat folk. Here's a lion. Um, here's a fox. This is an elk. They did have the lion seems awfully big in our, our world of critters. We're all fairly small, medium or small. They did have a deer on there, but deer can also come fairly. So I feel like a lion or an elk. They're cool, but oh, they might be too big. We've got ivy bright feather. There is a bird. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We've got Anthrocanine. These are a little more uh, humanoid. There's a rat. Rat folk. Um, a turtle person. <laughs> uh, he's got a shell on his back, so that's cool. Um, crocodile. A lizard. Um, uh, here's our, here's our raven folk. Ivy bright feather. What did I say? Blade seeker. What if we reverse that? Light dancer. Ivy bright feather. Light dancer. That's kind of cool. Kind of a combination between, uh, let me pull the rules back up here. Where'd they go? There we are. Um, 
There's something about classes here. Okay. The class you choose for your hero will not affect the play of the game and is meant purely for flavor. It could help guide the abilities you choose and the naming of these abilities, but it will not limit you in any way. Um, where did I read? There's traits, stats, maybe it's abilities. Your hero, no, there's, here we go, yeah. Your hero's abilities are a list of the special powers, talents, and skills they can use to overcome obstacles and enemies in the world of Renwood. Specializations, regardless of what you call your class, so light seeker or blade dancer or blade seeker or light dancer, um, regardless of what you call your class, your hero's specialization will be warrior, spellcaster, or surge caster. While all these roles can use any abilities from a common set, each specialization uh, has a unique set of abilities only they can use. So we've got a uh, warrior, example warrior. So Korra was a warrior. Mouse blade dancer. Where's Sil? Sil is a surge caster. So we can decide. Let's take a look at um, abilities, regal influence once per page. We could reroll a constitution once per rest. I kind of like the surge casting. Because what it allowed you to do was have multiple abilities, but you could spend those surges on different things. Um, boy, I just really liked so I like the way Sil played. Let me light, light, um, light dancer. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think what we're gonna do, I'm basically gonna just reskin Sil, if that makes sense. So it'll be kind of my own character. But then I can, where's the book? The hero book that came with the Kickstarter. Um, I can just use the stuff the developers and the designers have already created. Goodness, where's Sil? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I can just use this stuff that they've created. Uh, and instead of Sil Black Bolt, we've got Ivy Brightfeather, our uh, light dancer. And I'll just um, I'll just use the same stats and abilities. Uh, yeah, that's my plan. So um, I'm gonna let's start filling out this sheet. So Merrick, Cora, Quill, Thatch, and Talk. It was really nice to meet you. I hope we see you again. Um, but for now, we're going to use Sill's information. And let's see if... Uh, let's see what we can start putting on this sheet. So, Ivy. What did I say? Ivy. Ivy Bright Feather. Level, um, do, do, do. where's our calendar page? Here we go. All we're doing today is selecting a hero and then taking a rest. So we are level one. I'll write that in pencil because hopefully that changes. Um, and let's see, take a rest, um, restore your health to full. We don't have to really worry about any of this stuff. We'll follow the rules for creating this. I'm just going to copy this stuff over, but I can do all that off camera. I'll copy things over, get uh, Ivy set up. I'll take a look at these um, rules to see if there's anything else special I need to do. Should probably come up with a little bit of backstory how huh? maybe she's also one of the guards. Um, that would make sense. So, yeah. All right, well, that is my plan, and that's what we'll do. So, um, that is, I believe, oh, we could spend some time creating our hero over in uh, Hero Forge, but I think I'll do that off off camera as well. Um, yeah. So, that, my friends, is February 12th. 
Um, so we shall say goodbye for today and visit again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Uh, me and Ivy Brightfeather. <laughs> and uh, uh, thanks for watching.